I'm Derek Borman and thanks for watching Dynamic CRM Tips, a video series devoted to new product features, step-by-step -step instruction, and tips on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamic CRM 2015. In this session, we will set up and configure a brand new feature released as part of the spring update for 2015 called Email Folder Tracking. So by using folder tracking, users don't actually have to have the Outlook client installed. Everything is actually done using CRM server-side synchronization feature and Exchange email folders. So by creating Exchange folders underneath your inbox, you can automatically move a message to that folder. And once that message is moved to that folder, an email activity will be created and tracked in CRM. Now I have the capabilities to access any email or track any email in the application, regardless of the email client that I'm using, as long as that email client has access to my Exchange server. Before individual users can configure their personal mapping options, you have to set up folder tracking at an organization level first. So let's go into the application and just take a look at how that's done. So I'm going to go into Settings, Email Configuration, and the first thing I do need to do is to make sure that I have a server profile defined for server-side sync. Now, in this case, I'm using CRM online as well as Exchange online. So I already have a server profile that is pre-created and configured, so I don't have to do any additional configuration for that. What I do need to do, though, is I do need to, under email configuration, go into configuration settings, and I need to first and foremost make sure that process email using server-side syncing is selected. If I don't have that option selected, then no matter what I have selected underneath here isn't going to allow me to use the feature when I actually specify it in the application. So then I will then go down underneath configure folder level tracking and email correlation, and I will see an option here to use folder level tracking for exchange folders. Um, I will then go ahead and check that. Once that option is checked, I have basically enabled folder or e folder tracking at an organization level. Now, in order for individual users to be able to consume and use the folder tracking, you then have to make sure that their email boxes have actually been set up, configured, tested, and enabled. So you do have to go into the individual mailbox for the user, select the user that you want to use. So in this case, I could go ahead and pick you know, whatever user I wanted to work with, verify that their mailboxes have been tested with incoming and outgoing successful tests and that they've been enabled. So basically test and enable the mailbox. Once that process has been done, then you can go ahead and, and finish the configuration from a user standpoint. An important thing to note is if as a user, you go into settings and options and you click on email, there is a configure folder tracking rules. If a user clicks on that and it does not bring up the actual folder level message, then you are missing something. You either don't have your server uh, configured correctly, so you don't have a server profile, you don't have configuration turned on or tracking turned on at an organization level, or the other one and most likely one that I saw to this point is you don't have the mailbox enabled. So if you don't have that, you will get a message here telling you that it has not been turned on. So that's a very important thing to note when working through the application. We'll look at setting up this particular piece from an end user level at a separate session. But as you can see, configuring folder tracking at an administrative level is a very straightforward process. You're gonna go in first and set up your email server profiles. Once your server profiles have been set up, you'll go into email configuration settings and ensure that server side synchronization is set up for the organization as a whole, and then turn on folder tracking, and then go into the individual mailboxes for the people who will be using exchange folders, ensure that they are set up for folder tracking and that their email boxes have been tested and enabled. And once that's all set up, your users are ready to start consuming and configuring email tracking on their, on their end. Thanks for watching our session on how to configure and administrate email folder tracking in Dynamic CRM 2015. In our next session, I'll walk you through from a user perspective how to consume and use the new feature.